Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Have you met on Twitter, the Gaming Drag? Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. I believe this is Remy's path. So y'all, before we jump into it, I want to let y'all know that I'm now an affiliate with Green Man Gaming. What that means is it's going to be a link in the description of each video. You go to that link, you click on it, you go to their website, you buy games, you get awesome discounts on all the latest and greatest games, and I get commission based on whatever y'all buy. So y'all feeling like buying some cheap games? Use my link. I'll get credit. And anyway, my uh, lovely girlfriend, Elle, is an artist, and she's taking commissions. I have her commission info and links to her social media accounts in the description. If y'all looking to get some art commissioned, I highly suggest throwing some money her way, or at least looking through her gallery and uh, gauging her style and her quality. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next uh, 16 minutes of entertainment. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Let's get us some dragons. All right, so apparently I can meet with everyone, so... Uh, let's do it, okay. Let's meet with Anna. Walk, 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 walk. <laughs> she told me to meet her here, so she's got to be around somewhere. The production facility had many different wings, covering everything from research to processing, in addition to production. It was easy to get lost if you didn't know where you were going. I heard some commotion in the distance, and when I approached, I was surprised to not see not only Anna, but Remy as well. It seemed to be in the middle of a heated conversation. I thought it would be inappropriate to approach now, so I remained several paces back, out of their field of vision, but still close enough to be able to make out their words. We've, we have heard rumors. So you come to me on the basis of rumors. Is that how you operate? What do you want from me? This is not the first time you've been in trouble, you know. I might not be so lenient with you this time. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, considering this is a warning, you should proceed carefully for your own good. If you wanted to threaten me, the least you could have done was to send someone more intimidating. You may be larger than I am, but even I can say that you're just a big coward. You would dare put your dirty claws on me. I wouldn't. I I'm here as a courtesy to you. Not to threaten or intimidate. Do with that information whatever you wish. Uh, you know we'll be back, and if they don't, and if they find anything, there will be consequences. Do you think I care? This attitude of yours is not helpful. Neither are you. Well, if somebody came here to say, good luck. Whatever. Remy returned to leave and started walking in my direction. I ducked behind a pillar, and when he went past, I wasn't sure if he'd seen me. Either way, he left, and I was safe to approach now. Hey, Anna. Hey, Keegan. Wait, how long have you been here? Not that it matters much, anyway. This is just on. This is just par for the course for me. I know Remy. What's the problem? The nerve of that guy. He probably wouldn't be so uptight if it wasn't for that thing with his girlfriend a few years ago. But I don't care about him. It's his superiors that are the problem. They don't like me in the research I'm doing. They cite their traditions and values, claiming that those are what has kept us alive for so long. If anything were to, if anything were to change, it would obviously fracture the base the society is built on, causing it all to collapse, tear apart families, and all hell to break loose. At least if you believe those old-timers who keep repeating these phrases. And all that nonsense because of my research. Valuable research that could save lives, mind you. What kind of research are we talking about? I could show you sometime, but we're here to have fun, right? I thought you wanted to show me, since you said we were both in biology and all that. Sure, but after doing this all day, you'll have to excuse me for not for not wanting to talk about it even more. Wasting my time with that guy was just another setback. Not that I don't already have more than enough work to do. Even right now, I'm supposed to be working overtime. Guess you can give me the tour some other time, then. I will. Oh, and thanks for the blood, by the way. The results aren't in yet, but I'll let you know when they are. Good. I'm just as curious about the results as you are. No, you aren't. I am. I am way more curiouser than curiouser, curiouser than you, curiouser than you. Is that even a word? It is, since uh, an author popularized its use where I came from. And I am way more curiouser than you are. Not if I am curiousest. Excuse me for a moment, but I must weep for the English language. At this rate, why don't you just say you're the most curious set? Curious arrest. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not a linguist, are you? I'm a cunning linguist, baby. <laughs> uh, not exactly, but I have a way with words. Patunga's quite skilled or so I hear- Oh my god! Some might even say, cunning. Stop it, Anna. Stop it. No. I'm gonna take that pin right off your ear. In any case, if you have work to work overtime today, does that mean I should wait for you, or do you want me to come back another time? Neither. I think my break should start right about... now. Perfect. 
Perfect timing there, actually. <laughs> Let's go to the pipe. Hmm. It is, isn't it? So, where are we going? I don't think where I don't think where you are. I don't know where you are going, but I think I need my I need a coffee for five. You can tag along if you like. We'll see if it'll be mine as well. Hope you brought your own money though, because I'm not sharing. I didn't, but everything I purchased is taken care of by my ambassador status. Nice. Actually, that opens up some very interesting possibilities. It might, but I'd rather not do anything too fishy. I don't want to raise any suspicion, you know. Good point. Well, let's go then. After you, milady. That comment about her tongue, Jesus Christ. Not very subtle. There we are. Finally, I can't wait to get some coffee into my system. Oh, hello, Keegan. Nice to see you again. Hey, who's your companion? Can't you just take my order? I apologize. Let me try that again. Welcome to our establishment. My name's Aideen. I'll be your waitress today. What can I bring you to? I'll have a coffee. Thank you. And what can I bring the esteemed gentle person on the other side of the table? Bring me a beer. Uh, I'll stay coffee, please. No problem. I'll be right back. What's her problem? I'm here to order something, not chit-chat with the employees. <laughs> I guess I'm not a fan of friendly, then. Here you go. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Ah, I totally needed that. So, you work in that facility? And your point is... What's your job there? I mean, what do you do exactly? We do all kinds of things. The truth is, we just have all kinds of specialized machinery there, which is used by many different people for many different purposes. The building is owned and run by the council, who oversees the schedule. It's quite handy, since you can go from research to, to testing and even manufacturing, all in the same complex. I started out as a researcher in biology, which is still my main job, but I've been there so long and learned the ins and outs of the building so well that eventually I was able to, I was asked to take over some managerial duties. Sure, it means more work, but it also allows me to run a, per a personal op personal project every once in a while. Does that state your Does that state your curiosity? I see a glimpse of it. Already sounds like a fascinating place. I'm not sure I'd go so far as to call it fascinating, but it surely does give me a lot of opportunities. Oh, I forgot to ask you what you actually plan to do with my blood and the test results. What is this? An interrogation? Just asking a question. Well, it's not the first. Excuse me, princess. Sorry, I'm just stressed from all the work lately. I'm not getting much respite between my regular work, overtime, personal projects, and other disturbances like that Remy sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. What do you usually do during your free time? Having a good work-life balance is very important, you know. I love my job, I really do. Actually, I'd love it so much that even in my free time, I still do things I still do things that have to do with biology. As I said, I've got the opportunity to do my own projects sometimes, so that's what I focus on when I get the chance. It'd be a shame to pass up an opportunity like that without using it. With the current influx of work, I rarely leave the facility if I'm not if I'm not eating or sleeping. Even right now, I'm only on break and I have to go back for another shift. Maybe you should do something else for a change. Maybe, but right now that's not really an option. It would help if the council weren't constantly sending their lackeys to mess with me. So that wasn't the first time? No, I suppose I'm on their watch list or something. Why is that? It's a long story and not for the first date. date, huh? So you're saying this is a date? No, I'm saying that even if this was a date, which would be more than whatever this is, it wouldn't be very appropriate. Stories about work aren't very romantic. You know, it's always, it's always, it's always about work with you. Come on, you're on break. Maybe we should do something to take your mind off it off, the, off all that for once. Like what? I'm not sure. Do you have any other hobbies? Not really. Hey, waitress. How can I help you? Do you have anything here to entertain your guests? Any games or other distractions? I'm not sure. Let me go check. What exactly are you trying to do? Just wait and you'll see. The anticipation is killing me. Actually, no. It's boredom. It's more for the kids, but we don't really have anything else. It's fine. Thank you. Have fun. A board game? Really? I know it's not... I know it's not Nis Niski's Textile Merchant, but I suppose it's better than nothing. Textile Merchant? 
Nizzy Nizki? It's a game. Uh, never mind. Well, I'm not convinced that this will accomplish anything unless your goal is to make me regret this day. It seems to be a trivia game. Do you have a good general knowledge? Do you even know what kind of advanced knowledge I have to memorize and work with every single day? You bet I have a good general knowledge. Certainly more than enough to beat a foreigner like you. If you're so confident, maybe we should make a bet. What do you have in mind? Let's say I win. I'll get to go on a real date with you. No fitting me in during your break, no complaining about everything, and no acting as if you're doing me a favor, especially because it was you who wanted to meet me in the first place. And if I win, I'll have you come in sometime so I can run more tests on you. Let's do this, then. Since it was your idea, it's only fair that I start. So how does this work? It seems to be pretty simple. We take turns drawing cards and asking questions until we both asked a number that we agree on beforehand. Whoever gets more right in the end wins. How many questions shall it be, then? How about five? Let's make it three. Not sure how long this will take, and my break won't be for too long, either. All right, go ahead, then. I saw mischief in her eyes, her stare piercing, paired with the hint of an arrogant smirk that exposed her anticipation. She seemed confident that she would win and loved every second of it. Slowly, her hand went over to the deck of cards and drew the topmost. Oh, round one. Oh. Who is cited as one of our most important historians? His work spanning over 20 books, credited with mapping out our entire history since the beginning of Sentience. I'm going to be cheating in doing this. I, I want to go on that date with Anna. Uh, Hazik Akil. How could you even how can you even know something like that? You've only been here for what, a few days? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see how you fare your, with your first question. Bring it. How far can you walk into the woods? Only until the middle. Anything after that, you're walking out of the woods again. You're right. That's a, that's a rather weird question, though. I suppose I read the right kinds of books growing up. I know most of those trick questions. Let's see what the second question has in store for you, shall we? Round two. Fight! Alright, if there are five apples and you take away three, how many do you... Um, really? No, you see, it's a trick question. Three is the correct answer. Because... Ah! Oh, you... You, 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 you bitch. Three. Hmm, I guess you also know your trick questions. Apparently so. Okay, here's your question. In which year of our timeline did we gain sentience? Zero. The beginning of our timeline marks the event when we gain sentience. One second, y'all. Water time! Okay. Right again. Have you played this game before? It's a children's game. These questions aren't really a challenge. I'll just go ahead and draw the next card so we can end this. Round three. An adventurer who values his life has to choose between three rooms to cross. Which one of the following would be the safest? Number one, a room filled with poisonous gas. Number two, a room filled with 100 highly trained assassins. And number three, a room submerged in water filled with alligators that have not eaten in eight months. Uh, none of these. That's got to be a trick question. That's right. All the rooms are equally deadly. Alligators can go up to two years or more without food, making room number three as deadly as the others. The other two rooms should not require any explanation. At least according to this card. To be honest, I think the answer is debatable. Don't worry, it'll still... Uh, I still can it as the right answer for you. No need to get your tail caught in a door about it. Looks like this is going to be the last question. Just get over with it. Just get it over with already. What is the approximate acceleration speed of a nosediving flyer? I'll have to think about that one for a minute. I was just kidding! I still could have calculated that. Okay, here's the real question. What is the only substance known to be lighter in its solid form compared to its liquid state? Water. That seems to be correct. Of course it is, duh! You answered Anna's questions correctly, General Knowledgeist. Well, it appears to me that our game has ended in a tie. What do you propose? I say we both get our rewards. After all, we each made a good effort to get them. That's fine with me. I won't have a spot in the facility to do tests for a while, though, so I suppose next time we meet, it'll be a date. Don't forget what I said earlier about what I expect from you on this date. You better be on your best behavior. I'll try. Thank you. 
In any case, I should head back to work. My break is just about over. See you soon, then? Of course, and I'll make sure you deliver your part of the deal. See you soon. Hmm. Despite all odds, I managed to match her perfect score in the game we played. Even though my bet of forcing her to go on a proper date with me was more to get back at her for her earlier rudeness, I had not expected this outcome. I was not even sure what I expected from this meeting in the first place, but now I was locked into going on a date with her and being, with, and being, her, own, and being her own personal guinea pig. Whether anything good would come of this, I wasn't sure either. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, grief. Chapter 3. Oh my. Oh, Remy, is that you? Hmm. The morning sun declared the arrival of a new day and woke me from my vivid dreams. Memories of my home, enclosed within the towering perimeter wall, raced through my head. The peaceful landscape outside the apartment window stood in defiance of these old thoughts. Rolling hills and blue sky were familiar to me now, and the purity of the sight gave me hope. Uh, uh, Keegan, uh, please come with me! What's going on? You sound serious. The chief will explain everything once we arrive. Uh, okay. Hey, Chief, uh, Keegan is here. Thanks, Sebastian. You can deal with the situation here while I talk to Keegan, all right? Of course. Keegan, I've got some really bad news. Hell, well, what is it? Wah. No. They better not have killed Anna. She's my love. She's one of my love interests. All right, I guess we're going to pause it right here and save that for the next video. Oh my, maybe she's gone missing or something. We have to find her. That could be... Yeah, okay. All right, y'all. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!